In the last video, we saw this example. We learned how to expand something like this. Now, if we ask you to justify each step, you have to be this careful and tell us you're using this property or that one, you're using commutativity, you have to show us every step. If we do not, then what we've learned in this that we'll put in the next takeaway is that you can expand these dot products pretty easily. So here, if we have a product like this, um, you can expand it like you would expand a regular product of real numbers. So the first term would be a c v dot x. So that's first. Then out will give you a d v dot y. So these are the first two terms. And then you'll get two more coming from b w. So you'll get b c w dot x plus b d w dot y. So really, I'm foiling here, right? First, out, in, last. All right, so let me show you how to do this in the next example. Example 1.2.5, I'm assuming that v and w are unit vectors. You remember what a unit vector means? Yes, length one. So length of V and length of W, both one. And that the angle that they form is 45. Using the dot product, so that tells you that you can't just draw a picture and try to argue with that. You really need to use the algebra, the dot product that we've just learned. So using the dot product, you need to find the length of V plus 2W. So the goal is the length of V plus 2W. Now, what's really nice about the dot product is it relates nicely to the norm. I'm going to use this fourth property here. If I want to get to the norm, I can actually use a dot product. So now I want to get the length of V plus 2W. If I'm okay with this, I'm going to start by computing the length of V plus 2W squared. That's going to be V plus 2W dot V plus 2W. How does that make it better? Well, with the dot product, you can expand. And so now we have algebra. So I'm going to expand this. I'm going to get four terms like this and two underneath. I will get v dot v plus 2w dot v plus 2v dot w. I'm sorry, I should have put them in the other way. So 2v dot w plus 2w dot v plus 4w dot w. All right, the length of w and v are 1, so these are going to give me the first and the last term. The two middle ones are the same because it's commutative, so 4 times v dot w plus 4 times the length of w squared. Excellent. So now the only part I don't know is this dot product. But we have, oh, we have it right here. We have this proposition that tells us that the dot product is the length of V, length of W, and cosine theta. So here, let me put in a side. V dot W is the length of V, length of W, cosine theta. So that's 1 times 1 times cosine theta is 45. Forty five cosine is root two on two, or one over root two, whichever one you prefer. And so here I get one squared plus four root two on two plus four times one squared. So I get five plus I'm going to simplify the four and the two, so two root two. All 
I put a box prematurely. And some of you will do that on a test as well. <laughs> it's very, very, very um, common that people think they're done at this point. But if you notice, what I've computed is the length squared. And what I want is just the length. So there's an extra step. It's not hard, but you have to do it. So I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to remove this. And I need to go and add this step. Sorry, I'm a bit squished. I'm going to write it as square root of this. And now I can celebrate the end of this problem.